Hi everyone, I'm hopping on here for a quick little update. Today's May 8th, the day after putting getting the port put in. So I'm kind of tired today. I uh, struggled sleeping, um, especially like this morning. It feels like somebody beat me up. My back hurts pretty bad. It's pretty tight and the whole area where they put the port in is pretty sore and sensitive it's kind of like changing like i can feel where the tube is now and goes into my heart i couldn't feel that before um i have ice on it right now it's the only thing i'm doing uh for pain let's see how it looks Ew. it hurts a little bit just a little bit um Yeah, I'm resting. My sister's not here today, so I get the uh, Airbnb to myself. I wish I could sleep, but it really hurts. I had a dream last night that somebody shot me. <laughs> so, correlation to it? I think probably. Um, it doesn't hurt nearly as bad as having a breast chopped off, though. That's That's a lot more painful, so... Sure, I'll be pretty back to normal here really quickly, and I'm ready to get out in nature and to buy some water again. Um, I'm feeling conflicted, so I looked up the medication that they're going to put me on, and um, I'm trying to remember the name of it. It's like... Man, I just can't remember the name of it, but the symptoms don't look like very much fun. The side effects from it. Um, I really wish that this was less aggressive and slow moving so I could only do natural and alternative methods to clear it from my body. That's unfortunate that... Uh, I'm basically pushed into a corner and forced to do something that um, is kind of out of alignment with me. You know, I don't even take Tylenol or ibuprofen. So putting uh, targeted therapies in my body and chemotherapy and stuff like that is the complete opposite of anything I'd ever willingly put in my body. Um so, it's a burden for sure to have to go against everything you are just to save your own life. It's ridiculous, but <sighs> I, it's just part of this journey, you know? I wish that I had more control over my care than I do. Um, I would be willing to do the first option without IV chemotherapy. And uh, that's Progetta, Progetta, some, Progetta, something like that. And Herceptin combined with IV um, chemotherapy. But I'm not going to do IV chemo. I feel like... Um, Pill chemo isn't as bad. It doesn't seem as harsh on the body. So I'd be willing to do that option if they would maybe pair it with um, that. But I don't know if they can. I asked if they could pair it just the two, the targeted therapy and the immunotherapy. And she said that insurance would deny that. So that's why I didn't go with option one. And only adding two to four years of life expectancy isn't very good. Um, and the, the damage chemo does, like, that's going to shorten your lifespan. Or at least I feel like this time, if I do it again, it'll shorten my lifespan. So, um, for me, um, I, I don't feel nearly as bad about microdosing on chemo. I feel like that could be all right for 
a period of time. Um, and I feel better about long-term being on immuno or targeted therapy other than being restricted and um, to a place because I like to move about, go wherever I want, whenever I want. Being in one place is not really my forte. Um, as you can tell, I'm like, I'm up on so many pillows right now. I'm trying to be as comfortable as I can. Um, oh. But, you know, there's only so comfortable you can get. So, um, I wish that I had a best friend here with me. That would be nice. Yep, that'd be really nice. But, uh, later on this year, I am thinking about um, relocating closer to family and friends. So we'll see what comes of that. But time will tell. Notifi notification brightening up my screen. I don't know. I guess that's it for now. I'm so grateful for all of you. I'm so excited that so many of you are um, following this journey and supporting me and sending me all the good healing energy and vibes. And I'm really grateful. I love all of you. I hope that you are taking care of yourselves. Till next time. Bye.